Kyle Dugan with Sixth Sense here. I'm a digital marketing manager and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we use Sixth Sense with Google to create a journey-based display campaign that uh, drives our users to relevant content depending on which phase of in-market stage they're at. So here you can see a spreadsheet that has um, our journey-based keywords and for this we chose the top six generic keywords. So for making sense, for instance, we've got making sense set up for four different keywords. And for that, we've got embedded CDP, predictive analytics, lead generation, and website personalization. So you can see that we've got a highlighted word. That's the keyword that goes along with that journey-based message. Uh, website personalization, lead gen, predictive analytics, embedded CDP, they're all bolded, right? Because these ads are going to go onto Google, they're going to go on Google Display, and we want to make sure that it's extremely relevant. So we've got the, the words highlighted, and it all drives to that particular asset. So now you can kind of start to see how we're building this out. And this is a lot. That's going to be six ads per stage per keyword, right? So four stages, six ads, 24 ads per keyword. Uh, you don't have to go this in depth. This is just how we do it. We like to take it to the fullest extent that we can. So once we have that, since this is going on Google, we've got impression tracking and click tracking tags. Now these are provided in Sixth Sense whenever you go to create a campaign. If you create an external campaign, you fill in your details, you'll get those tags that you can use to set up. So within here, we've got that we've got a segment, we've got a focus. So who's interested in website personalization? It's marketing people. And we're targeting manager, senior, director, VP. If you go over to Google Analytics and you get into your admin settings, you'll go into there and you'll find the audience definitions. In there, you can create new audiences, right? We're gonna come over here. We're gonna choose create new. We're gonna go down to conditions. Here, we're gonna choose custom dimensions. And then we're going to choose segments. Easiest way to do this if you have a custom segment you've already created for it is just to copy that segment name, do exactly matches, and place, place it in there. Now once you click apply, you've got an audience built out that you can use in Google AdWords built off a six cent segment. That segment also will continue to dynamically update. So as people hit your website that are in that segment, they will be added to your retargeting campaign in AdWords. So they will see the content that's relevant to them depending on which segment they're in and which stage they're at. I hope that helps explain a little bit about how Sixth Sense uses Google AdWords. Um, as always, reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks.